Hi, Scissorin here with another build guide for the upcoming Scourge League, and this is a build collab with prolific build creator Nugian. And this is going to be something he's league starting with, which means it's an even solider build because you'll be able to go check whatever he's doing. Now do remember, we always have a word of warning for new skills. Not only can we not really show the build in action because, well, it doesn't exist yet, but New skills can always be scary. However, a lot of those fears are alleviated by the fact that Nugian himself is league starting this. So you'll very quickly be able to see if he runs into any problems, how he fixes them. And this is a ranger pathfinder. So it's very easy to respec to, for example, toxic rain or something like that. So it's a pretty safe starter anyway. This looks like a build that's getting a lot of damage early on. Looks very strong, great defenses. And you know, when Nugi's playing it, it's definitely a solid build. So as per normal, point by point, step by step in Path of Building, showing you when to take what skill points where, so you won't be lost while leveling. There's some different endgame trees here, and there's also a lot of information in the notes. Like for example, here's an endgame tree with a lethal pride. They're very, very efficient. It's a Legion jewel, and basically there'll be extra bonus points sort of on uh, the, the notables. So it's just very, very many of these are being hit. Uh, on the V2, it's basically if you're able to get a lot of Chaos Resist on your gear, then the Chaos Mastery here will make that worth it. And we also have an alternative tree for if you want to be an Occultist instead of a Pathfinder. So there's that option as well. Occultist, obviously, very, very fun with the Profane Bloom Explosions. So that's uh, an option as well, and we have that in here. So in the skills, very, very important to mention, we are using Explosive Concoction in the Path of Building because... Poison Concoction isn't in POB yet, it doesn't exist. That also means that we cannot fully simulate the damage here. Uh, but from looking at numbers and calculations, early game, it should very quickly go to 1 million DPS. And at the end game, super juiced, it should get as much as 10 to 12 million while still being really tanky. And that means it should be very easy to get to the point where it's doing 3 to 4 million, which is an insane amount for a build. And again, being able to see Nugi put this in action and being able to ask him questions all day at any moment, gonna be great so early on we're starting leveling with splitting steel and ancestor protector and then you can swap two poison concoction at level 12 and uh withering step really really important for this build you're self casting with despair as well a despair obviously for more damage the withering step for even more damage because that gives wither stacks and then we have plague bearer and plague bearer is honestly in my opinion the single strongest gem in path of exile it basically acts like a poison righteous fire and you have to activate it sometimes at the start of the map for it to start counting the amount of poisons you do. But Plague Bear, insanely strong and just does so much damage for, for clearing. You basically fill it up and then run like a Poison Righteous Fire. Now, Nugi wasn't 100% sure what gem is going to be, like with a, the overlap might be insanely strong. So getting a large amount, like, you know, using GMP and Greater Volley, things like that might be really, really strong, but we won't know that until he tests it. And Nugin is going to be publishing an update video on his YouTube a little bit after launch with even more information about what the build is like in action. Items. There's no early game item tree here. It's basically super simple. The only thing you're going to need for the early stuff is life and resist on your gear. There's like no uniques, no nothing. Literally just get random gear off the ground with life and resist. Try to be res cap. Remember you're losing res at Act 5 Katava and Act 10. And then here we have like an idea of what you want to go for. So you do want to go for spell suppression and Azari Step will have spell suppression as well. But that isn't like fully in on the actual item yet. The Gravishi's Unveil with a, with on the a chest. 10% maximum life is extra energy shield is really good because we're also taking ghost dance. So you are getting like chunks of energy shield back. So having like a thousand and thereabouts will be really, really good for the build. This is currently simulating uh, some of the poison concoction damage. So again, this this isn't a real item. Obviously the life and resist is, but the, the damage, not so much. And then Vermilion Rings for the end game. You really want to boost that life as much as you can. Amethyst Rings are decent as well because they'll give you Chaos Res. And then yeah, you can see life, Chaos, All Res, and Accuracy. A different thing for this type of build is that the Divine Life Flask is part of where the damage is coming from. And there are now tiers for things like Saturated. So I think the highest level is at item level 82. And obviously you just want to get this as high number as possible. The suffix doesn't really matter, but you do want to get a Saturated Divine Life Loss. You can get up to 30 quality, 28 is pretty easy. And uh, the way you get higher quality on a flask would be Hillock on Research. So level three would be 28 quality. 
and uh, doing Katarina would be 30 quality. And again, this isn't a massive part of your damage. Now you were saying that you would be going from around 5,000 to 5,222 base damage. So 200 base damage. It is just min-maxing. Obviously, you do want to try to get a pretty decent flask anyway. Because more damage is always more better. And for mana issues, you really want to make sure you have an enduring eternal mana flask. And if you go to the notes section, Nugi has loads of really, really good information. So make sure you check that out. A lot of questions you might have uh, can be answered in the notes section. And if they aren't, make sure you drop by Nugi in stream and ask him there. So let's do our normal like Q&A thing at the end. How is the socket pressure on this build? Well, we are missing a weapon. You can't have a weapon in your main hand because that's just not how the fast skills work. So you're obviously, you're missing three sockets that you would normally have. So it is a little bit rough because of that. Now, worst case scenario, you can drop your Wither, Multi-Totem, Spell Totem, Increased Duration. You can drop that entire setup because you can replace that with Withering Step instead. And especially if you get the um, Anomalous Withering Step, then it's two extra stacks. And obviously we get some duration and stuff like that. So it ends up being really good. Can the player have mana issues? So again, this is a new build that we haven't played yet, but you are going to be using a Enduring Eternal Mana Flask. So yeah, it, it can definitely have mana issues. Useful level uniques for this build would just be your generic normal things like Cold Rim, Tampa Bay, Wanderlust. There's nothing really that stands out as a level unique here. For defenses, we're running Grace and we're going to have a large amount of evasion. So obviously uh, dodging attacks can be very, very easy. We have a 100% spell suppression, which is really good for bosses. And the main thing that's a, a dangerous thing for this is going to be fist reduction. We don't get that much fist reduction in this build. Getting things like minimum endurance charges, physical damage taken as elemental damage, those things would be really, really good. For sustain in boss fights, they can be a little scary as well. We're leeching a little bit. We can use our own life last, but we don't want to spam it. Um, we are obviously using that to attack and uh, we can get life gain on hit, for example. As far as financial hurdles for this build, that's part of why it's a great league starter. There's nothing that's going to be really super expensive for this build. So I hope you guys have fun in Scourge League. This should be an insanely strong, really, really good starter. And make sure you go check out twitch.tv slash Nugian and ask him questions. Give him some love and thanks for the build. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying all the build collabs we've been doing lately. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sub if you liked the video. But more importantly, try to die less than I do.